And I'm Dylan Black. There's going to be a winter celebration happening on the grounds of Rideau Hall. How cool is this happening Saturday? And with more details right now, she is with Rideau Hall, the uh, Chief of Marketing and Creative Services. Her name is Julie Rachelot. Hello, nice to see you. Hi, nice to be here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to be an exciting gig working at Rideau Hall. It is, always interesting. The history behind that building. Yes. Uh, can you give us some fun stats? Not to put you on the spot, but Rideau Hall has been around for quite some time. That building's pretty old. It is. It, I believe, and now the guys, if I give wrong information, <laughs> they will kill me when yeah. I go back. But uh, it was even before the, the house was built before Confederation um, because it was um, owned by uh, one of the builders of the, um, the Rideau Canal. No, okay, yeah. Anyway, yeah. so um, yes, it's it's a very old home, and it was much smaller at first. The right now, where the main entrance is, it was the house. But then over the years, sections were added. There was a section added to host uh, being able to host parties. Mm -hmm. They used to uh, play tennis there, and now it's called the tent room. So we hold events there. Mm -hmm. And then the ballroom was added uh, over the years and a section. It's a residence, but it's also a work place. So sections were added also to accommodate all the, the workers. Yeah. So a lot of history and a lot of, it, a lot of interesting events yeah. happen there. A lot of interesting people oh, of course. Uh, visit it all. Very rich history. And I've been there a number of times over the years, of course. I mean, if you're going to be in Canada, you're going to visit Canada, you need to visit Rideau Hall. Mm -hmm. And okay. perhaps people can do that for the first time this weekend. Yes, uh, the house will be open. Yeah. Rideau Hall itself will be open to visitors. Uh, we uh, will have guys who will be able to give you all the details. <laughs> and did the, well there. And the right years yeah. uh, um, about the history of Rideau Hall. Um, but there will be uh, lots happening outside of of course, because winter celebration is to celebrate winter. Mm -hmm. So the main goal is to get you outside and to show you that sometimes winter can be difficult. Yeah. I myself was stuck for way too long uh, in traffic this morning. <laughs> <Were you? laughs> but it can and it, it is fun. Yeah. Um, and because of winter, we practice specific sports. We have traditions and we can celebrate that this weekend. That's a lot of fun. We're seeing some pictures as well from, uh, I'm guessing, winter celebrations past. Yes. Um, now, how many years has the winter celebration been going on? So winter celebration itself since 2002, the first edition was held when the, the Right Honorable Adrian Clarkson was Governor General. Mm -hmm. And it uh, was the year when uh, uh, we celebrated 50 years of Canadian Governors General. Mm -hmm. But there used to be the New Year's levy that was uh, taking place um, every year before that. So it derives from that tradition. Okay. But instead of taking place during the holiday season, it's now in January and since 2002, um, it has evolved since then, but uh, that's when it, uh, it started. And it's good they moved it because, you know, sometimes there's too much going on in the holiday season, so we need something to beat the, the January blahs, right? The winter exactly. uh, blahs. So obviously from the pictures we just saw, we saw a few of the, uh, of the uh, activities that take place, but what exactly happens at the winter celebration? A lot of partners make this day possible, mostly embassies. Since the very beginning, um, the goal of winter celebration is to celebrate sports and traditions of winter, but we're not the only country who has to live with uh, winter. So we asked the help from other embassies and over the years we started, I believe it was, it was five and now we have over 15 embassies. Mm. So for instance, uh, this year, um, uh, we always have the classics. Norway always bring their giant ski. Yeah. So maybe you've tried um, cross country skiing before, but trying to have be with uh, seven or six other people and be on one ski with all of them. Not that's easy. a whole different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's easy. a challenge. Yeah. Um, we have uh, Sweden who uh, teach us bandy. Uh, it's a form of field hockey. It was before uh, hockey. So you can try that uh, sport that's very popular with them. Um, Austria is bringing for the first time S talk. It's a form of uh, alpine curling. So you may know curling, but mm -hmm. if you want to um, maybe see another version of it, it will be your chance. So that will, Sweden and uh, Austria will um, split the time on the skating rink at Rideau Hall. Okay. And the skating ring it, uh, itself uh, is worth uh, uh, the while. Half of the skating rink will be open throughout the event for visitors. Okay. You need to bring your skates. 
yeah. we don't offer them, yeah. but uh, the, it's refrigerated, so no matter, or almost, what the weather will uh, look like, you should be able to skate. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay. and so I was talking about the giant ski, but cross-country skiing, if you never had the chance to, uh, to try it, we'll, we offer the equipment for mm -hmm. the day, so you'll uh, get to see if it's easy or not. Okay. Um, snowshoeing. Um, you will also have the chance to, kids can, uh, an obstacle course will be created by the Governor General's foot guards. Okay. So they can try um, to uh, the obstacle course and they'll learn about winter camping. I'm not sure I would be winter a fan, camping. but they can learn, <laughs> yes, if they want to do that, the yeah. Governor General's foot guard will, will also do that. Okay, we, we only have about a minute left, so I just want to get to some of the details and, and make sure we don't run out of time. So the, the Governor General will be on hand for the celebrations? Um, usually, the, of course, you have to be careful. We yeah. never know what can you happen at the last second, anywhere, right? but usually, yes, the Governor General takes the time to go out and to uh, walk the grounds, to meet the people who are there, and to meet the partners also. Okay, so what are the hours for the winter? celebration it starts at 12 30 and it's until 4 so we've talked about sports but there's also great food to taste there yeah and to get through winter um, uh, different countries uh, show you their favorite snacks and okay. stuff so a lot to do and what is the exact location in case people don't know where Rideau Hall it's is It's one Sussex Drive that's easy enough to remember yes yeah you can drop in on uh, Mr. Trudeau before and say hi have a coffee <laughs> something I like that I think the RCNT may <laughs> stop <laughs> they you might, they might if stop you try you. indeed <laughs> uh, Julie thank you very much uh, for being here winter celebration happening at Rideau Hall on Saturday we appreciate your time my pleasure coming up next the sweet escape candy emporium is going to be joining us on Rogers TV it's going to be tasty times